This podcast has been named a Common Sense Selection by Common Sense Media, recognized for its outstanding content for kids and families. Assalamu alaikum. You are listening to Season 5 of Once Upon a Crescent, a Muslim kids podcast. And I am your host, Mrs. Hashmi, and I am so glad to be back narrating more original stories just for you. Your imagination is the most important part of my podcast. I'll tell the story and you'll see it playing out in your mind. Are you ready to turn on that big imagination of yours? Because I'm ready to turn on my big storytelling voice. Just kidding. This is my storytelling voice. Today's story is called Adam's Halloween Situation. Adam was in a rush. He gathered his books and pencil bag, and he walked towards his homeroom class. Adam was walking down the halls of his elementary school, noticing so many new changes that the teachers had done over the weekend. Adam looked at the doors of the kindergarten classroom and noticed that there were little pumpkin crafts hanging at the entrance. He walked past the first grade hall and saw beautiful dried leaves spell out the words, Fall is here. He admired the artwork. He walked down the second grade hallway and immediately smelled ginger and cinnamon air fresheners. Wow, I guess people just really love the month of October, Adam thought to himself. He continued to notice so many different little changes, like how the third grade bulletin board now had a big skeleton sticker surrounding it, or how little signs on the library door indicated spooky things like the word boo written in big bold letters with a spider holding the sign. Adam sighed. He just knew that these next few weeks were going to be filled with Halloween-themed things. Maybe they'll be reading spooky stories in class, or learning the history of how this holiday became famous. Either way, Adam was not looking forward to it. He just wasn't the type of kid that enjoyed scary, creepy, spooky things. I mean, other stuff, yes, he could totally handle, like heights, roller coasters, new situations, speaking in public, you name it. That didn't scare him at all. But Halloween-themed things did. Adam drifted off thinking about all the ways that he could somehow avoid any Halloween type of things in class. Maybe he'll ask to go to the nurse during group reading time. Maybe he'll sit close to the teacher at recess and just read a book to avoid the other kids who loved telling spooky stories on the playground. Maybe he'll just act like he has to go to the bathroom during art class so he wouldn't have to participate in drawing monsters or skeletons. Something about the month of October just really made Adam feel uncomfortable and spooked. He entered the classroom with his right foot and recited Bismillah. This was a habit that his Baba helped him form. He would tell him, start with the name of Allah with Bismillah, entering with your right foot. Adam found his desk and took out his warm-up folder. That's where all his morning work was stored. He read the whiteboard to see what the teacher had planned for today. Adam's classmate Carlos read it out loud as he entered the class. All right, what are we doing today? Today, we will be learning about the Mexican celebration called Day of the Dead. He smiled as he sat next to Adam. Adam repeated the phrase and asked, Day of the Dead? Huh, that gave me chills. 
Carlos patted Adam's shoulder in a friendly way and explained, This Mexican celebration is just a time when families gather to honor and remember their loved ones that passed away. Adam's teacher interrupted. Yep, and we'll be learning more about that later today. Okay, get settled everyone. Today is going to be an exciting day to learn about what other people do and don't celebrate. For example, I know a few students here who don't celebrate Halloween. The teacher stated, nodding at Adam and the girls. Adam looked around the classroom to spot his fellow familiar classmates, Rueda and Nuha. They waved at Adam and nodded to him too. The day passed by in a flash. Adam enjoyed learning about others and sharing to the classroom how his family didn't participate in Halloween traditions. Adam felt surprised and proud of himself for being so comfortable with sharing that to his whole class. <laughs> After school, Carlos caught up to Adam outside the school. I'm walking home from school today since my parents are in a meeting for work. Is it cool if I walk with you too? Yeah, of course you can. My house is just down the street, like a 10-minute walk. Oh, cool. My neighborhood is right before yours. The crowd of elementary school kids who were walkers walked together down the street. Rueda and Nuha were just behind the boys too. Nuha pointed out something up ahead. Hey, you guys, they blocked off the sidewalk, she said as a few construction workers finished closing off the street with orange traffic cones. They directed traffic away from the street and used a megaphone to inform all the pedestrians. This sidewalk is closed. We will be starting construction for the next few weeks. All walkers, please go through the Oak Bend neighborhood as a detour to avoid traffic. The girls glanced at each other worried. Some parents were visibly upset as they moaned and groaned at this new change. Adam and Carlos groaned too. Oh, man... Adam knew this area really well since he's been walking home from school for a while now. He also knew that the Oak Bend neighborhood was a shortcut, but he didn't like that path. Oh, I really don't like going that way because of Mr. Scott's dog. It's always barking so loud from behind their fence. Nuha sighed. Well, I guess it's the only way to avoid traffic. We'll just follow those parents that are taking the shortcut too. Adam nodded and Carlos agreed. Rueda was quiet for a few moments, but finally spoke up. You know what else is terrible about that neighborhood? The creepy decorations. Carlos laughed. Oh yeah, they go all out on Halloween. They really enjoy decorating their houses and their lawns. Hearing that made Adam even more uncomfortable. Adam and his friends walked through the entrance of this new neighborhood. Adam brought his right foot forward and said, Bismillah. Rueda and Nuha were busy staring at the homes of this neighborhood. There were fake skeletons sitting on chairs on people's front porch. There were carved pumpkin faces scattered on the ground in front of another house. Adam and Carlos pointed to another home with a big inflatable black cat. Okay, that's a funny one, Adam cheerfully noticed. Carlos elbowed Adam. He pointed at one decoration all the way in the distance. Adam took one look and glanced away. Hey, Carlos, let's just hurry up and get out of here. Rueda and Nuha picked up their speed, too. They walked past the boys trying to exit this new neighborhood. 
Adam was rushing himself to pick up the speed too, when all of a sudden he dropped his lunch bag. He bent down to pick it up when he heard... Adam and his friends looked around to see where the cat noises were coming from, but they didn't spot a cat anywhere. The meowing kept growing louder and louder. Okay, this is getting weird. Where is that noise coming from? Nuha and Rueda looked around frantically. Adam finally spotted where the noise was coming from. He pointed to the inflatable cat. Ugh, seriously? So the inflatable cat apparently can meow too? Ugh, that spooked me. Since when did inflatables also make noises? Rueda and Nuha chuckled. Carlos patted Adam. Seriously, I was spooked too. That was so unexpected. The kids turned around to look at the big inflatable cat decoration one more time before leaving this neighborhood. They crossed the street together. Carlos waved to Adam and the girls. See you guys tomorrow at school. Rueda and Nuha split ways with Adam as well. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Adam continued on and walked home by himself. Adam looked around to the familiar houses on his street. He looked closely to see if any of his neighbors had put up Halloween decorations near their front doors. He spotted a few fake webs and large plastic bats hanging from a tree. Adam fixed his eyes on another person's front porch where a zombie-looking doll was placed. Adam darted his eyes away and focused on getting home as soon as possible. He increased his speed and walked quickly. He heard footsteps behind him approaching. But before Adam could turn around to see who was there, he felt a hand on his shoulder. Adam grabbed that hand and jumped. <gasps> he screamed, feeling so startled. <laughs> whoa, whoa, salam alaikum. I didn't mean to scare you, my love. I just wanted to catch up to you. I thought you saw me checking the mail. Adam's mom noticed the tension in Adam's face. She put her hands around him and gave him a tight hug. <sighs> Come here, Habibti. You look really frightened. I'm so sorry for making you jump like that. I just wanted to catch up with you so we could walk home together. She placed her hand on Adam's chest, which was pounding in fright. Mama, I got so scared. I was feeling really spooked anyways, and then I felt your hand on me, and it was just uh, really bad timing. Adam let his mom hold him in a comforting hug for a moment longer as his heartbeat calmed down. Adam, if you are ever in a stressful situation and feeling scared, try this short dua that the Prophet ﷺ used to say. Ya hayyu ya qayyum, bi rahmatika astaghith. Come on, repeat it with me. Ya hayu ya qayyum bi rahmatika astaghith Ya hayu ya qayyum bi rahmatika astaghith Adam's heart was finally at its normal pace bi rahmatika astaghith He took a deep breath and asked What does it mean mama It means O oh, living and eternal maintainer, by your mercy I seek help. Allah is constantly and totally in charge of every little and big thing around you. Allah is the one in control and in charge. What can possibly harm you when you have called out to Allah for help? Allah is so merciful and kind. Allah is looking out for you. Adam was grateful for his mom's company while they both walked home together.
He was even more grateful for the fact that he learned something to calm him down in a stressful situation. Adam repeated this short dua. Ya hayu ya qayyum bi rahmatika astaghith. Jazakallah khairan for listening to this episode. To all those that are supporting this podcast through Patreon, by leaving reviews on iTunes, I just wanted to say a special thank you for helping support this podcast. If you'd like to access more content from me, please become a Patreon member to unlock lots of coloring pages, discussion cards, and a segment called Reflections with Mrs. Hashmi. My latest work, A Muslim Kids Comics, is also uploaded on Patreon. That link is in the description box below. Assalamu alaikum.